How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. This week it is the semifinals of Tattoo Warriors and we only have four artists left, which means the tattoo they're about to execute determines who makes it to the grand finale. So with that being said, let's get this day started. Let's go. Well, first thing I want to say is congratulations, got you guys in the semifinal, man. That's a big accomplishment. In the semifinal. And I can just feel the energy coming up from all of you, but I also see a whole bunch of dope ass designs. So I know today is going to be tough. It's going to be challenging because every single one of you guys designed something super cool this week. So yeah, don't drop the ball. <laughs> I've seen all the stencils already and holy shit, they look sick. And everyone's doing color today too, so I'm gonna learn a lot. Let's get it going, hell yeah. That is crazy that you guys are, everybody's doing color today. I'm surprised that Tom is doing color today. Yeah. The placement for today is gonna be the arm. Anywhere in the arm, it could be an outer arm, it could be an inner bicep, as long as you, got, you guys do your best work. The winner of today will be getting $200 worth of supplies with higher level and also you guys are going to get closer to winning the title of Tattoo Warriors. And also, the big check, $5,000. So with that being said, let's get this day started. Let's go. Let's go, son. <laughs> Semi-finals today is going to be tricky today because we now we have the top four artists. Really excited to see what they're going to produce because uh, I see some really interesting compositions um, out there. Uh, Roger's doing something with some good flow, you know. Um, looks like a almost a little neo traditional. Neo traditional, thing. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, Thomas, I feel like he was the one that was doing just black and gray throughout the whole competition. Mm -hmm. yeah. But today he's like, no, I'm gonna do some color today. His uh, black and gray skills are on point, you know. Mm -hmm. So his color, I'm, I'm really curious to see what his color looks like. And I want to thank you for being here today. You know, it's really cool I that you, it. yeah, man. I thank you for being it. here. So uh, it's gonna be really cool to have you guys judge the semifinals. That's a Fine. tough position, though, man. Yes. Shit. How does it make you feel? I mean, I don't know. I'm just like, I get to see all the cool shit, so. Or can I cuss? Or yeah, you can cuss, you can cuss. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> but yeah, no, I'm, I'm excited to see everything. It's I'm excited, cool. man. Yeah. And get to hang out with you guys, that's awesome too. All right, hey, Big C, how are we doing? Good, good, how are you? All right, so what are we working on today? So today we're diving into some horror theme tattoos. custom Chucky piece. Okay. And it's gonna eventually blend into like a Goosebumps. Definitely it's uh, my top uh, favorite categories to tattoo. Uh, just to be here with everybody is insane. Thomas is insane. Uh, uh, Joseph, man, he's been putting out back-to-back -back badass pieces. Same with uh, Roger as well. So just to be here competing with them still is mind-blowing to me. So last week I wanted to do something a little bit different. I mixed color and black and gray in like in an infusion piece and I went really big. This week I sized it down and I did a horror theme, which is about my style and color too. To make sure I got into the grand finale, I just taken my time. I didn't want to rush it. are at round three semifinals. Yeah. How are we feeling? I'm good, I'm good, I'm feeling good. All right, so what are we working on today? So today we got a payasa girl with some neo-traditional work kind of going around it, you know? On the outside, saturates the color. Okay, so you are doing color today. Yes, yes. How do you feel about that? Good, you know, um, I don't do it often, but it is something that I do keep 
just tucked away in the bag, you know, so. How do I feel? I feel good. I feel happy that I did make it to the semifinals, yeah. Uh, but you know, it just also just lights another fire under your ass because you know, you're, you're almost close to being there and this is great, but you know, the next level is where we're all trying to be at. So friends and family both weren't really surprised. They think very highly of me and they expect me to win it all. So that's exactly what I'm just trying to do for them. <laughs>
but it doesn't have enough yeah. contrast in it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's a good ass choice. I was watching you do your your soft tones and man, I was trying to pick up on them, but the thing is that I'm watching you. Yeah. And I think to myself. But I do the same thing. You end up realizing, man, honestly, bro, none of us, no tattoo artist, like, will ever tattoo all the same. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I can show you the same technique and everything. It'll never come out like how mine comes out. And if, I if you show me some techniques of yours and I try to do it, it'll never come out how, like, yours comes out. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But that's looking amazing, man. Thank you, man. Killing I appreciate it. it. Thank you. So there's a lot of uh, aspects that go into this tattoo that I did for today. You know, um, I did my black and gray realism, which is what I is... I believe is my strong suit, um, but I also laid in some bold line work, which I, you know, see that the judges like, and some color saturation, which I normally don't do, but if I need to pull it out of the bag, I could definitely do it. Um, so there's just a whole lot of things. I, I just believe that my tattoo hits like all, you know, the check marks in the box. And so I like to hit my darker tones on the face first, which would be like the dark part of the cheekbone, the nose, the underlip, and the chin there. Um, that tone is honestly like a medium tone for, uh, that I have on my gray wash. And, uh, once that's like a nice medium tone, then it just sets the tone for everything else of how light I'm going to be going. Cause, um, I like to keep everything pretty light to, uh, when it comes to basis, you know, especially particularly in this design itself with the bold line work on the outside and color saturation I'm going to be doing. I'd like to make sure the face is gonna be a nice, soft tone, light gray wash. I wanna be the greatest. Everybody on the face shit. I look around and feel like everybody is the fakest. I make this every day and I'm impatient. Hoping one day I blow up from the basement. Statement, the top is so vacant. I don't need shit that I think is amazing. Waiting for my day when I'm playing. Sold out shows for a thousand faces. Hey, give me that crown. Get in my way and you'll be put down. It ain't your place, all this my town. If I want that shit, then I'll get it right now. I'm losing it, the noose it fits, some loose shit, a stupid myth. You choose to live or choose to dip, you choose to fight or lose your grip and lose a gift. Oh. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign, a sign. How's this going, man? It's going. Yeah. It's moving. I have a question, though, man. How'd yeah, you, uh... How'd you prepare for this one? Did you have a lot of time to prepare or did you just kind of do it on the fly? Um, it was like half and half. Because uh, I, I did the design last night, but I did maybe like uh, three or four versions of like the same tattoo. It just wasn't, it wasn't really hitting. I had made a design similar at the beginning of the week and then I had to revisit it. It was like one of the first ones that I was like, nah, that's not going to work. Did you stay up late last night working on this? Or? Yeah, yeah. I was up till like 2.30, I think. Ooh. Having like a firm idea of where you want to put your darks and where you want to put your lights and then sticking to it. Usually what I'll do with the color is like encase it in darkness. You know, so then same with the lights. So it's like, it's all encased in black. So it kind of gives you the illusion of like uh, the contrast and separation. I probably will use a lot of really light highlights in this area because it's gonna have wall-to-wall -wall saturation. Whereas in the, the statue, it's more about giving that soft look. It'll probably, if I do whites, I'll probably brush it in and water the whites down. So it's just really soft, very subtle. Um, it'll be a little different than, than the skin tone once it heals, but it's not gonna be anything too drastic. And we got Big C here. Look at him, focus too. Oh, oh, he's, he's, trying, to, he's trying to make it look like he's chilling. Oh, hell yeah. I, I know, I know you're, st I know you're stressing. Don't be hiding it. <laughs> I forgot my girl had just put that. That's why I was like, what are you talking about? I was like, oh wow. Is this guy helping right now? What the hell? All right, Thomas, this is what you got to do, man. You got to pack it in. You got to pack it in with that 11 curve mag. Voltage, a five. <laughs> I hope he helps you out, man. <laughs> it has been many hours at this point and I think nobody has taken a good break so I'm thankful that the food truck has arrived so we're about to take a break and relax for a little bit. How you guys doing? This is Minji's Backyard Barbecue and everything we do here is, is in the name. Backyard Barbecue, Backyard Food. Whatever you want we'll try to create. Uh, brisket, ribs, pulled pork, sausage, chicken, turkey, 
all homemade, all made from scratch, authentic topics, ingredients, and so on and so forth. Real wood, not no pellet grill, no Traegers over here, real wood. Offset smoker, barrel smoker. I get those flavors on them ribs, you know. You can find us on Instagram, is our biggest, and Facebook. It's uh, Minji's, M-I-N-J-I-S, Backyard, B-Y, Barbecue, B-B-Q. So hit us up, give us a shout out, check out the food, and uh, we'll be out here next week. The artists are starting to feel the pressure. I'm looking around the room. All the tattoos have so much detail, but the time is flying. I just hope everybody finishes on time. I added some shadows first, like darker tones, and then I jumped straight to my light tones, and then now I'm hitting the mid tones right now, essentially. I do like skin tones just a little bit different than most colors, but it for me, it goes in a lot better. I try to use everything curved standard mags because uh, it's a little bit softer on the skin. Meeting everybody here has been a blessing. And just to be here next to these people is good connections and I believe friendships make for many years to come. I shout out my lady. She's uh, amazing. If it wasn't for her, I won't have all the extra time to do what I'm doing today. <laughs> oh, you're doing much better than earlier. <laughs> I saw, uh, that's coping mechanism right there. I'm living in my delusion. <laughs> How are we doing on time? Plenty of time left. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's a... Uh, Probably like another four and a half hours. Yeah, we That's don't need crazy. that much time. <laughs> you got a lot of time. How long did it take you to customize? Last night, I was probably putting it together for like three hours. Mm -hmm. And then this morning, I woke up and just like cleaned it up. Mm -hmm. So maybe about four hours total. Crazy, man. Keep killing it, man. Yes, sir. Uh, this time coming in, I just made sure that I was even more prepared than last week to... Uh, kind of solidify my opportunity to go to the finale. Uh, I made sure that I checked out all the other designs before starting just to see if I needed to maybe change something or make mine bigger. Uh, I draw all the time, so making changes to designs isn't a big issue for me. What you have to do is you, you can't trust what yellow is telling you because as soon as you put yellow in, it starts to change colors just from that red showing through it and it's so bright. So you just have to be very consistent with packing it, making sure you're doing the same motions over and over and over, like, uh, like so. So for me, when I'm packing color, any color, I never hit a spot more than three times. Hopefully you can get it in in one and two, but three is my max amount of passes that I will make on a spot. You know, depending on how you work, maybe you can make a fourth pass. But me, I'm trying to pack it in solid on the first try. So I'm already dealing trauma and I don't want to hear anything more than three times. Uh, and if it just, if it doesn't look the way you want it to, uh, fix it next time. Everybody's getting close now to finishing and it is getting super intense. Who do you send home? Yeah, no, everything is so crazy right now. And everyone's like on the same medium yeah. with color. So it's like, yeah. and they're so good. They're all bringing like similar elements into it, you know. Rogers. <laughs> The blue, did you see that blue on the oh, tail yeah. of that bird? It's popping out, man. It is insane. And Joseph, he is tattooing uh, darker skin complexion uh, on a Hispanic client. You yeah, mm. he's locked in too. He, I think I've only seen him get up one time. I know, man, and he's, he's being very in. technical with his tattoo as yeah. well, so. Yeah, and then Thomas, he bounced back from last week. Because yeah. last week, he was, uh, he fell a little short. And he noticed too, and he told me, he's like, yo, I thought I was gonna go home last week. Yeah. Yeah. Big C, this, the last hour, mm -hmm. I was I was not, you know, I was like, yo, are you gonna finish? <laughs> yeah, no, he started zooming, and then and then he was kind of telling me, like, my last two hours, like, the whole tattoo starts to change, and I was like, whatever, bro. And then I started watching him tattoo, and the last two hours, it started getting really smooth, and, the, and then some highlights started coming in. I, I was very impressed on that one. I think once we see the final product, 
will know. But as in right now, I, I don't know who's going home, and I don't know who. I can't decide who wins best oh, today either. Yeah. You know, I and just people can't. People that are gonna watch this, they're gonna. Whoever we pick, they're gonna be surprised anyways yeah. because. They're yeah. all yeah. the same. <laughs> Fuck. You know, put all the names in a hat. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Damn it! Yeah, so what do you think about the tattoo so far, bro? It is looking amazing, and Child's Play was the movie that started my love for horror, so it's about time we add Chucky on to the list. Right? It's a good addition to the whole collection of yes, horror. Yes, yes. How do you feel about it? I'm good. I'm just like, man, that time goes by so quick. Yeah. I'm like, fuck. I didn't even take a lunch break. Either. I know. I, you didn't even take really any breaks hardly, just to the restroom and then back to business. <laughs> Full circle moment, kind of, you know? I mean, from tattooing to the bedroom and now tattooing here on this tattoo show and shit, it's kind of crazy. Yep. Every time I come to you, it's like elevated. That's yeah, what exactly. I can appreciate, man. You stayed from the beginning to this shit, you know and what I mean? This, and that's how your layout is, bro. You used to lay out one little cut with black. That's it. <laughs> Just one ink of black. Uh, you didn't tell me why you chose to get a bird for your sister. Um, I don't know. My sister lives a very, I would say, unorthodox life. And so I considered a bird for the simple fact that she really was a free spirit. She didn't like to go by the rules. First of all, I gotta shout out my family. You know, I gotta shout out my wife, Desiree, my parents, my brother, my sister. Then I gotta shout out the shop, Body Art Gallery. We got uh, Michaela, Samara, Xander, Jordan, um, Eddie, Zeke, Hector, everyone. Um, I missed I missed an art show tonight for my homie that passed away, um, Charo Jose Sanchez, the fine line killer. Shout out to him because. Uh, he was really integral in, in my in my growth as, as a tattooer. Uh, shout out to homie Travis Ross. This is his apparel right there. Um, he was one of the first people that gave me a chance. Eric uh, Gutierrez, Hollywood Stars, Oceanfront, Mike Cho. You know, I could, I could keep going forever, ever. I've had so many people help me out. It's like insane. Like, I'm definitely not a self-made person. I've had so much help. It's community made for sure. <laughs> yeah, shout out my wife, Antoinette, and my baby, Rome. I love you guys. Um, I do it for them, man. Really, that's it. That's really what it comes down to. Bye. Hi, how you doing? I mean, you said bye. Oh, you're bye. saying bye to me? I love you. I love you, too. I'll see you soon, okay? Okay. So we can go hang out. Maybe on, our, on boys' night. Boys' night. Bowling. Yeah, or batting cages, too. Yes, batting cages. Of Quick announcement. I don't want to be the bad guy at all, but I guess I have to. <sighs> 45 minutes. 45 minutes. That's it. And uh, I hope that you guys are close to finishing. <laughs> but a whole lot better this week, baby. All right, man. We're all done. Man, that's the best shit I heard all that damn day. <laughs> shit, boy. Good Let's shit, though, go. man. All better. Yeah. All right, ma'am. Yes. We're fucking done. Yes. Thank you. Uh, All right, yo, we did it. <laughs> came out nice. I love it. We're finally done. You did that. The judges and I have not been looking forward to this moment because we've been looking around all day and we have no idea who is going to take best today and who's going to get eliminated. Today was amazing. I. It's, I've been nervous the whole day because after three weeks, now you guys know what you guys had to do today. Before we start judging, I just wanna say that I'm really proud of this, uh, this group of people that made it to the semifinals. 
and I'm really happy what you guys put out today. I gotta say that this episode is probably gonna be one of my favorites. So I'm really proud of you guys, so congratulations. Round of applause for you guys. You guys are amazing. You know, the clients, you guys sat amazing as well. Um, I know it's not easy to, to sit through that much work, but yeah, you guys, you guys came through for your, for your artists. Uh, I want to applaud you guys for, for, for doing yes. great too. So the clients. <laughs> yeah. You guys are all amazing artists and um, in each piece you can see your guys' styles in each one. So like, you know, this is like as, as good as it's going to get right here. Just because I'm in this episode. <laughs> no, but no, but for real, your guys' uh, layouts on everything was amazing, and uh, you know, you guys are true artists. Yeah. And now we begin. We're gonna start judging to decide who is gonna take best tattoo of the day, and who gets eliminated. So we're gonna get started with Big C. I'm through. I love. The pores. That's. Yeah, definitely. I wasn't sure like how that freckles, was gonna turn right? out. Like the freckles, yeah. And right here where the face is breaking away. Yes. Yeah. The teeth really stand out to yes. me on this yeah. one. Roger, come up. The color packing is insane. Mm -hmm. But I also gotta say, I love the fact that, I seen it on your Instagram, but uh, I really love the fact that you implemented that yellow circle around, because I seen it on your Instagram, and I'm like, I hope he does it. I wanna see it in person, and he didn't disappoint. Joseph. I think my favorite part is the, the cheekbones on the skull. Mm. It really, it just, it makes me want to focus on that area and it brings the whole piece together. Yeah. And those eyes, like the softness around those eyes right here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, li I like the layout and like the motion that you kind of got going on right here. Yeah. Thomas. That red, that red made it happen too, but the softness on the face, mm -hmm. it's insane to me. The contrast with the chain is like, you know, does, that does not go unnoticed. Yeah. It's oh crazy. yeah. You, you took your sweet time on the, on the mm -hmm. chain for sure. Well, every single tattoo is amazing, so we're going to have a really hard time choosing who is gonna take best today, who's gonna get eliminated, and I just wanna say, man, everybody killed it today, so it comes down to, you know, nitpicking at the end, you know? I would wear every single one of these tattoos. 100%. Yes. Yeah. I got the chills Ooh. right now. Ah! <laughs> Give us a few minutes, guys. Uh, it's gonna be tough, but I'll see you guys in a couple minutes. <sighs> oh. All right, so what do you guys think about Thomas? It's a beautiful tattoo. Um, very technical, very solid, but right here in this corner of that makeup, he chose to go with the same value all the way through. He could have went a little bit lighter. In that oh, I see, okay. Mm -hmm. Kind of like how he did it up top. Mm -hmm. Exactly, just like he did the forehead. Uh, Look at those teeth. The teeth, oh, I really love the teeth for sure. I love the teeth also. Yeah. And just, for me, it's the, the pores or the, the, the yeah. what you call them? The... Like, it's like freckles, kind of. Yeah. I think for this piece, um, I think the bride and Chucky are like the main focal point. Mm -hmm. And then I, I understand it's going to add up to a, a whole sleeve, but the left little part right there where it's like a, um, what is it, like a camera kind of thing, mm -hmm. I think. I think maybe, like maybe something more simple, like a maybe Chucky with uh, in a silhouette, like with a, the, with a knife or something. That. Joseph, like yeah, that, that the, the right chin, there. the mouth, the, the yeah. skull, it's so clean. Oh, it's amazing. I think with the with the back that you're talking about, it almost looks like he was trying to avoid this and got lost with the design, with the pre, with that previous tattoo he had. 
But as a whole, though, man, holy yeah. crap. Oh, my God, man. And then Roger. And then you got Roger. I mean, yeah. I, I'm going to... I couldn't find something bad. Mm. So that was very tough. Yeah. But I do got to say that there's one thing I do find, like, a, a little bit of a, like, bothers me a little bit, and it is the way he finished the back of that tricep. I don't know if you guys saw it, but it, it finishes like this. You know what I mean? It's not like a fade out, but it's like a fade out in different areas. After looking at all the finished tattoos, it got even more complicated for us because now we had to decide who was going to take best today, who's going to get eliminated. But we kept going back and forth and back and forth. We had to call back the canvases to look at them one more time. It was such an intense moment for us. We could feel the pressure. We were starting to get nervous. I got a little nauseous, not going to lie. <laughs> Me too. I'm getting a little <laughs> nauseous right now. Oh my God, man. This was probably the hardest decisions that we had to make. We couldn't decide. We were just going back and forth. And it's, we were looking so many positives that we have to started looking for the tiniest little mistake that we could find. We were searching for that at this point because just looking at the whole piece in general was almost impossible to decide who had the best tattoo. Uh, but after talking to Daniel and Angelo, we, uh, we have two artists that uh, stood out the most today. Roger, you want to come forward? So one of the things that I liked about your piece is you incorporated flow. Everyone here pretty much incorporated some really good flow and your piece looks like it can, you can tie into it and you can connect into it and it has some really bright bold colors and it's, it's a challenge for a lot of artists to be able to accomplish that on, on darker skin and mm. you, you accomplish that very well. So the second one <laughs> I say Thomas. I think Thomas. Uh, um, for Thomas. <laughs> I think your application was really good. Uh, it was hard to find some flaws and um, just, you know, a lot of it is application. And I just want to compliment both of you guys' tattoos. They're just amazing. I, you can just tell the technical application on both were just flawless. Okay. So we had to really narrow it down to the tiniest little mistakes that you guys made because it was too clean, you know? Uh, the whole competition, we've been talking very positively about every single one, but at this point, we, it, we can't do that. <laughs> we can't do that because we have to really look at the tiniest little mistakes, you know? So... It's getting harder. It's, it's getting, getting harder. harder. Oh. <laughs> we reached a decision and we decided that the best tattoo of the day uh, goes to Roger. Congratulations, my guy. Uh, the reason why uh, we picked your tattoo as the best tattoo of the day, it came down to flow. It was a challenge, you know, flow. I love flow in my pieces mm -hmm. and stuff, you know, so even though yours was very technically like complete and solid, the flow is is where where we made our choice. Mm -hmm. This this is the part where it got very complicated. Uh, man. So as you guys know, you guys did amazing. Uh, I'm sweating. <laughs> My hands are so I'm sweating, sweating right now. I'm um, just going to go straight into it. I don't got nothing else to say. Um, the person that's going to get eliminated today <laughs> So the judges and I, we couldn't make a decision, uh, so crazy ass curveball. We couldn't make a decision, so we're gonna give you another chance to prove yourself. When we came down to it, like, we can't let you guys go because none of your flaws were big enough. 
for yes. us to send anybody home. And we were kind of arguing basically on who should go home. Yes. So. Round of applause. <laughs> this, this, is, this is where we take a shot. This is where we take a shot, right? There is a, one, one last curveball that I didn't even talk to anybody about. We also want to throw a little bit of a challenge uh, for in social media. We want your crowd to go and drop your name in the comment section. Whoever has the most comments will get an additional 30 minutes for next week. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a shot. Oh! Bro, I am shaking right now. I am fucking shaking. Thank you guys so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Congratulations, man. Dude, this shit was hard, man. You fucking this killed that shit. You fucking killed that shit today. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming back and watching the semifinals of Tattoo Warriors. Drop a comment. Let me know what you guys think about this episode. Who do you think is going to take the title of Tattoo Warriors? Don't forget to share this video on your social media, on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram. I will be checking everyone who makes a reaction video to this episode, and I will be dropping comments. So with that being said, if you're a tattoo artist, I hope you learned something from this video. And if you're a tattoo enthusiast, I hope you were entertained. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the grand finale of Tattoo Warriors. Peace.